Hey guys, so it's the number five in the series. It's called Anointed and Faithful. This is 11, 17, 23 is when it was given. And I'm going to get to it. At first I was hearing music and it said, O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art. Lay, then it switched to a different song and it continued with music though. Lay down the burdens of your heart and I know you'll never miss it. Then it went into the words, anointed, you patiently, steadily wait. You wait in peace while you pray for what is to come. Anointed, prepare, take regular communion, make choices of righteous living. Stay rooted in me. The time nears. You will know the foretold events will unfold and you will be in peace on your appointed day. In an instant, you will be translated here. Those who are not anointed, but very faithful, you indeed are listening for me. Some have heard me call. I will speak more to you. If you heard me call, be sure to have paper for next time. Recall we win in silence with no records on the electronic devices. Others still wait for my call. Be sure you are living a life in me that is not working against my directives. Take regular communion to be sure even forgotten and unknown sins are forgiven. I will speak to those in covenant with pure hearts. You will never be sin free in this life, but quick to repent is what I require in order to see you as pure in heart. The stubborn who willfully stay in sin are not pure of heart. I have given ample time for all to hear. I have given many warnings. I soon will go silent, only speaking to those who hear. Be warned, those who depend on man. You can continue to listen to man and see how it works out for you. I will not speak to those in disobedience and those who listen to man over me. When the one before you is gone from this earth and three days have passed after her last words, no one else speaking is of me. My words will cease for broadcasting over many people. I will only speak to the individuals who are pure of heart, who hear me. They will lead. They will be provided for. They will bring many to me. Guard your hearts. Guard your eyes. Guard your ears. Focus on me. Plans are unfolding quickly behind the scenes. The human uprising will occur. The bombs will fly. Then many will be saved. Pray for those that will soon be saved. Pray their chains are broken and that evil, darkness, and wickedness have no hold on them. Pray their hearts are softened. Pray their ears are opened up. Pray they turn fully to Jesus and are not deceived. Pray, church, pray. The days dwindle. The prayers matter. So there's only two verses for this one. Philippians 4, 5-7. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. And then Luke twenty-two nineteen to 20. And he took the bread and gave thanks and broke it. And he gave it to them saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Okay, so that's it for today and I'll see you soon.